everyone, Blue 13 Scala here, but please do just call me Stairs. I just wanted to pop in to let you know that this first did air on Twitch on this date, and I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to go check out the action as it's going on. But enough chit chat, let's get into the video. Alright, I think, I think I have the springs now. I think I have everything, oop, I think I have everything for the springs. Then go around the pink cabin. Wait. Now with your back to the front of the pink cabin, equip your egg launcher and zoom in on the red and white spinning wheel in front of the bottom. What? <gasps> no, I didn't want to do that. Well, I can figure out if there's anything over here that I didn't already get. Ugh. Can I also just say that I'm so... Oh, that'll get me up there, I see. Yeah, I, I'm so sick and tired of the people who are like, Hey, let me, uh... I know that you've got this thing about, Hey, you're not allowed to post links. So, uh, let me do this thing that I did to get around that and uh, send you malicious malware. Those, those people are great. Love them. Now I'm not gonna be able to get back up there, am I? Because the game like already took pity on me. I'm so sorry, you guys are literally in for now half an hour worth of me spinning around on this stick. And it's not like the amount of momentum changes anything. It doesn't. Oh. Right, let me also do this just a bit to kind of make up for that difference. Let me scooch down. There we go. Because I feel like my swing momentum gets better for this particular thing if I just keep sticking close. I hate that I hate that I have to do this again. I really do. And I don't know like how many swings is a good number of swings to just keep doing it by. Like, does it actually change my momentum? And none of the walkthroughs that I like watch are actually helpful. Because they're all just like, yeah, just like swing up there, or the person just like edits because they're like not able to do it. So you guys get to watch me fail in all my glory as I keep trying over and over and over again. I wish I knew like what kind of commentary to actually like provide while I'm doing this because I gotta tell you if I was doing this like in a YouTube video this is the part where I would like just cut this and just show you once I've gotten to the top. And the thing is I need to be up there to make that shot. So we're just gonna keep doing this over and over and over again. And it doesn't change whether or not I have the, the eggs pack on my back or not. Change. Thank you. I'm just going to let this just continue to sit for a little bit. Because now I'm beginning to really wonder if, like, it does actually change anything having my momentum. But I don't think it does. I hate this so much. Like, I hate that there is a way that you can jump off this thing and it not be correct. You know? Like, make... Code this in. Make this easier. Or at least move the branches closer. I'll, I'll unequip the, the egg shooter and see if it, like, makes things easier, but it doesn't. Can I just say, also, I appreciate that they kept his beer gut in? And the 
that they continue to give him a beer gut. When I don't think in the original animated he did. Like in the, the Jim Carrey version, he definitely did. That was like part of his thing. He also ate glass, but... That makes it imply that he is like a whole other kind of species, but like... I wonder if he'd be like happier with his own species, because they just like wouldn't judge him as harshly as the Who's do. Or like try to force him to be something that he's not. But literally what he just hates isn't like... It's not Christmas, he hates the way that people have tainted Christmas to be like a specific image. That like doesn't actually like co-align with anything. Oh my god. I kid you not, I literally did this for half an hour before. And it doesn't matter. I'm just not gonna look. Just not gonna look. Nope, didn't make that one. Because I do think it matters now, like, where in the swing you hit it, but it's, like, so almost inconsistent that it just doesn't. And I can't change positions unless I'm at the top of the swing. Yeah, come on. Let's just let's just do this. Ugh. And I can't let go of square for a second. I can't. It's not like they put this on like another finger control. Because I'm pretty sure that the last blueprint is up there. And I knew I should have hit that that spinny thing sooner. I don't, I don't know if any, like, part of just me... <sighs> I wish I just, like, had something more entertaining for this. This is me, still doing the same thing that I said that I had fixed last time. Because I did, and then I fell off. I'm literally missing one piece of the blueprint. It's at the top, and I have to shoot something to get it to happen. That's what this is. As I continue... I So let me explain to you also how the controls work if you didn't see me failing at this sooner. So I have to hold down square. If I let go of square, he immediately stops. So I have to hold down square the entire time. However, I also then have to tap X if I want him to jump. Without letting go of square, because if I let go of square and then just tap X, that happens. If I would like to change directions, I have to hold down square and tap triangle at the height of his swing, or else it stops. However, as you see, I can hit the button literally any time that I would like, and it does not at all mean that he's going to jump immediately. And I'm of the opinion this section was not playtested. I have gotten up here twice now. I started the game off up at the top of this thing. And I have to do this four times then jump onto a ledge. <sighs> I fell off once. I was able to return. I have not been able to since. So, there's no secret. There's no trick. There's no nothing. Just consistent attempts. As I try to not look at this, because if I do, I won't make the next jump. Like, let me just... One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, okay, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, didn't change it. Yep, just consistent suffering and agony. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's eleven, but it's fine. And I'm basing the number counting. Change positions, thank you. I'm basing the number counting off of the sound effect. So this has got to be more than ten at this point. Still didn't. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Because literally the last portion of it is right right there. Literally, I just have to get to the top of this thing and shoot something. With my gun. Okay, let's see if we get to 20. If that changes anything. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nope. So momentum does not matter. And the only reason that I would have thought that it would is that a few other games of this era, such as Spider-Man game, did rely on momentum. It does not rely on when you press the button because it's inconsistent on when the button will work. I have given up entirely on pressing the thumbstick. I almost feel like the camera makes it worse. And that somehow the camera being involved affects it for some reason. I don't know. I genuinely don't. So here I am. Okay, we've made some progress. Change, thank you. And position on the stick doesn't seem to change it either. So, I don't, I don't understand. Just gonna keep going. Change sides, okay. Just, and hang on for like a minute. Ah. Oh. And I wish it would at least like let me grab onto the lower bar. But this was just bad coding all of this or make the grab area larger because honestly here's here's what's really screwy if you like look at how the graphic lines up with where he's grabbing it doesn't where he's grabbing is a solid pull across the graphic itself is kind of curved so at the right angle it looks like he's grabbing onto the pole in reality, he is not at all touching the graphic. Even for as straight as these twigs appear. So they could have just made the hitbox detection a little bigger. But they did not. So... There's that. I feel like I'm, like, actively getting worse at this. Like, and I just need to get to the top. Just, just once. Just one more time. That's all I need. When I did this the first time, it took me half an hour to do this. I was not paying attention, and I was watching YouTube at the time, and just going for it. See, the suffering has made me tired. That's it. it. It brought on more suffering. I have been at it this time for almost 10 minutes. So there's that. I 
just need my stress ball. My stress controller. That's what it is, my stress controller. Ugh. If you guys ever get to pick what your eternal suffering is, don't pick this game. Don't, don't, don't pick specifically the rotation parts of it. Pick anything else. Anything else. Rats eating your intestines. Eh. Anything else. Yeah, I'm convinced that maybe there's like a special spot that I have to stand in when I like rotate to make it work right. A certain spot with a certain number of rotations. I don't know why I think this. Can I stop yawning? I'm just gonna keep yawning until I've like fully given up on this. Because I do not want my stream to be an hour of me just doing this. Me doing it at the end doesn't change anything either. In fact, I think it actually makes it harder. <sighs> You've also missed my webcam cutting in and out, which is great. People trying to convince me to buy followers. Because that's just how things work. Eh, eh, no, flip sides, thank you. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw here today. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that this way you get a notification as soon as I upload anything new. And also, don't forget to go check me out over on Twitch if you want to see things as they happen. Have a good day, everyone.